WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 3 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And the Dow is up 194. It was up almost 600, actually 600 at some point. Then it slipped to negative. Now it's up almost 232,198. We'll discuss this particular pattern right here that you can see on the left side chart, which is the daily Dow. This is the weekly bumping into resistance. And this is the monthly chart. We're looking at the S&P. And the S&P at this particular point is up 25. It was up all the way to 37.96. It was down uh, to the 30, uh, where was that, 30, hmm, 37.08 area, and now it's at 37.45. It's actually underneath the key moving averages. So I've got this now. The daily is in a sell signal. That doesn't mean to say it has to crash down. It just says it isn't upgraded to a sell mode, which is more serious, but it is having a big digestive phase from the peak E that was made at 39.11. You're looking at the QQQ, the index 100, trading very weakly. It's up today at 181, but it's making this arch formation. I'm going to show you patterns just now when I do the Tom O'Brien show. And you see how these patterns repeat over and over. We're looking at the IWM, which uh, is trading now up $1.16 at 177.48. Uh, that's, that's holding a lot better than the QQQ. But the big story here is that gold. Gold is up $52 at $16.83. It does have these exceptional bursts of energy. It did that around about the 27th or so of September. Off the low, it had a huge move, and then it carried it all the way to a single A, and then it uh, leg A, and then it pulled back very sharply. We're going to talk about that when we return. We're looking at the dollar down quite sharply. Uh, it's down uh, 1.96 at 111.02. Uh, this is going to be very interesting because if next week it starts trading in the 109 area, that's going to help a lot of areas. We're looking at the TLT, which are the bonds. Uh, the bonds have been struggling. They're still struggling. They're down $1.35 at 94.48, meaning that the yields are going higher. And crude oil, ha, huh, crude oil had a very nice move to the upside today. It's in leg D in the champ wave. It broke out from the resistance area. Uh, this is going to be very important because even on the weekly, it's breaking out. This is what it needed to show that it's got some some uh, sustainable strength in the very short term. Next week, we'll see. We'll talk about the XLE when I get back, which is the energy sector. Uh, we'll be back for the Tom O'Brien Show. I hope you can stay. This is going to be a very interesting last hour, and certainly next week's prices are going to be very important. See you in a few minutes. Have a great weekend in any case. <laughs>